how to drain and close a hot tub for the summer. If you decide to close your hot tub for the summer, make sure you follow these steps. Step one, remove the cover completely. There's a couple tricks on closing a hot tub for the summertime, so watch right to the end. Step two, remove the filters. Step three, add a purge cleaner. Run the hot tub on high for 30 minutes. Want to make sure that your cover is dry so you can uh, keep the cover off. Don't put it back, dry this out. So I usually just put it to the side. This one doesn't have a lifter. So I just lean it here and just let it dry for a while. We don't want any moisture. It's, it's gonna be black mold on it if you just throw everything all back together. After running the hot tub on high for 30 minutes, turn off the breaker. Step five, drain your hot tub. Step six, clean your hot tub as it's going down. Step seven, vacuum out all the water and get as much water off the shell as possible. We want the shell to be super dry. If you can, keep the cover off so it dries everything a little bit better like the little drips and everything. So dry it out as much as you can. Now wherever your spa pack is and all your equipment, open that side up and we want to disconnect as much as we can. We don't want to fully disconnect everything. You just want to loosen up so it leaks all the water out of it. There's going to be lots of water still in there. But you're still going to get some sort of mold. We're trying to prevent a lot of that white mold and the black mold. So try to get out as much moisture as you can. That's why in the summertime, open it up and maybe clean it again in the middle of summertime. Put your filter somewhere so it will dry after it's cleaned out. Uh, all these other little pieces you can leave inside the tub on one of the seats. So after you've covered out like this, what you can do is you get this. I'll link it down below in the description. You just have to measure length and width. Order it on Amazon and it saves your uh, cover from the sun. So if your backyard gets hot, it's good to have this tarp on there. So it saves it from wrecking that. So I'm gonna put this on right now. And that's what it looks like. You can use these in the winter time too. You just have to pop it off, pull all the snow right off. That's if it's a light, you know, light sprinkle of snow. But these are good to have. I have two types. This is the fastest one to put on. I'll put two different covers on there. I'll put this style here. You just have to get length and width, like I said. I'll link the better one down in the description.